to a very dark place in my mid to late 20s. And um, I had um, a, a, my own business, I had a family, I had my own home, I had uh, everything that you sort of materially would think that you would want, um, but I, I couldn't cope with the pressure of what really probably a 40 year old man should be dealing with. I, do, I did what I call now layering, and I, and I just took on everything and just was letting that just sit on top of each other. You know, finance, family, you know, um, work, everything, everything. I just let it sit on top of me and just and let it layer and layer and layer until that pressure, that weight, I, couldn't, I really couldn't take anymore and it affected my relationship with everybody. What kept me here was that I, I had to learn to check in with myself again. Um, and that was the only thing that kept me here. Learning to sit with myself was really important. And I think that's one of the most important things to, to, to do is to be open and honest with yourself and to learn to check in with yourself. And if you can't be frank and, and honest with you, then you can't be frank and honest with anybody. To navigate through your life having a mindful um, or awareness of what you do and your impact in life is, is really important to keep going back to. So we started cold water swimming at the beginning of the lockdown, uh, so March 2020. And I think that what is so beautiful about it is that every single morning we get up, it isn't, it, it's a unique experience. The sunrise is never the same, the weather's never the same, the water's never the same, the people who come along are always different. And, you know, it puts you into a completely different mindset. When you're in cold water and you're exposed to the elements, you can't be anything but present. You know, I don't worry about my overdraft when I'm in six degrees of sea and there's an eight, eight foot wave coming my way. I'm not worried about my overdraft then. <laughs> and I can get out, I get dry, I, I enjoy my cup of coffee and I have a little chit chat with a few people while we're drying and then I go home to have my breakfast and I'm set. I'm set for the day.